Hi and welcome to Multiply and Divide by Powers of 10. Just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so we're going to begin by multiplying by 10, 100 or 1000. And in each case, we have to start thinking about the place value of each digit within that number. And so in my first one, I have 3.7 times 10. And so that means I have three units I put my decimal point and then I have seven tenths. But because we are multiplying by 10, what effect that is actually happening is that every digit is going to move one place to the left. The units will turn into tens. So the three would become three tens rather than three units. The seven tenths, well, that is now going to jump over the decimal point and come into our units. And in this case, we could think that actually there are zeros at the end here. There are zero hundredths and zero thousandths. And so we could call that 37.000, however many zeros we want. But 37.0 is just 37. And so the answer to 3.7 times 10 is 37. If I looked at 28.3 times 100, well, that would be a 2 in the tenths column. An 8 in the units, our decimal point, and a 3 in the tenths. But because now we are multiplying by 100, there are two zeros there, and that means we're actually going to move everything two places to the left. And so the 2 that was in the tens, it's gone to the hundreds if we multiply by 10, it's gone to the thousands if we multiply by 100. And so we get a 2 in the thousands. The 8 is also going to move two places to become 800. The three is going to move two places to become tens. And then what's gonna to happen to the units? Well, the units need a placeholder and that placeholder is a zero. And so 28.3 times 100 is 2,830. Next, we have 0 0.03. So we'll draw that onto our little chart, 0 0.03. Three, and we're multiplying that by ten. That is a single zero, and so all of the uh, all of the digits are going to move one place to the left. So our first zero, which was in the units, is now in the tens. Our second zero, which was in the tenths, is now in the units. The decimal point is still there, and the three, which was in the hundredths, is now in the tenths. Now in this case, we've got 0, 0, 0.3. Now we don't actually require that first zero because if we've got no tens and we've got no units, then we only need to deal with the zero units. And so that answer is 0 0.3. Finally, 0 0.42, if we look at that one, we had 0 0.42 and we're multiplying it by a thousand. Now if we look at the number of zeros this time, it's one, two, Three. And so what that is going to do is it's going to move each of my digits three places to the left. So my zero, which was in the units, has gone one place into the tens, one place into the unit hundreds, one place into the thousands. That is where the zero is going to be. The four is going to follow it into the hundreds. The two is going to follow it into the tenths, uh, into the tens. And then we are missing a unit. So we need our placeholder our placeholder is a zero. And again, at the front, because we have zero thousands, we don't need to actually uh, leave that in the answer. We can just say that the answer is 420. And so the other two, I'd like to have a go at without using, uh, the, uh, without using the diagram. I'm going to multiply by 100. So that means everything moves two places to the left. So this one, that was in the units, well, that is now going to be a hundred. The zero that was in the tenths, well, that is now going to be a 10. And the five, which was in the hundredths, is now a unit. And so 1.05 times 100 is 105. 0 0.202 times a thousand, well, this time that is three zeros. And so everything is going to move three places to the left. So this first two, which was in the tenths, is now going to be 
in the hundreds. The zero is now going to be in the tens. The two is now going to be in the units. It will be 202. Next, we move on to dividing. And dividing is obviously the opposite of multiplica uh, multiplication. So where we were uh, moving to the left when multiplying, when we divide, we move to the right. And so we're going to begin in the same way. Think about our place value. We have 3.7. If I divide that by 10, well, that is a single zero. So it's one space to the left, uh, sorry, to the right this time. So the units, which were three, they are now going to move into the tenths column. The seven, which was uh, were in the tenths, are now going to go into the hundredths. And so we have three seven in the tenths. But in here, we need to make sure we've kept our decimal point there. And if we've got a decimal point, we also need a placeholder in our units. We will have 0 0.37. If we have 28.3, well, we'll have a two in the tens, an eight in the units, a decimal point, and a three in the tenths. But this is being divided by 100. That is two zeros, so it's two spaces to the left. The two, which was in the tens, is now going to be in the tenths. The eight, which was in the units, is now going to be in the hundredths. And the three, which was in the tenths, is now in the thousandths. Again, we are beyond the decimal point, so we need to add that decimal point in and our placeholder of a zero, so 0 0.283. With 0 0.03, we'll write that in, 0 0.03. We're going to divide that by 10 this time. And so this one, if we're dividing by 10, that is a single zero, so that is one place to the right. So the zero, which was here, uh, in the units is now in the tenths the zero which was in the tenths is now in the hundredths and the three which was in the th uh, hundredths is now in the thousandths and again we're beyond the decimal point so we need our decimal point and our placeholder we have 0 0.003 and then 42 divided by a thousand well that would be a four in the tens and a two in the units but this time we're dividing by a thousand, so that is three zeros, it's three places to the right. And so the four is going to go one, two, three. So the four is now going to be in the hundredths. The two is going to follow it into the thousands. We need to now fill in our placeholders. We need a zero in the tenths. We need a decimal point, and we need a zero at the start. We have zero point zero. Four, two. So let's try the last two without the use of the diagram. 1.05 divided by 100. So this means that in terms of my decimal point, the 5 has now moved two places to the right. And so the 5 is still going to be the last digit in my number. The 0 will follow it and the 1 will follow it as well. But this um, 5 has now um, gone two places to the right, so it should be the fourth digit after the decimal point. So I'm going to have to have 0 0.0105, and because it has a decimal point, I'm going to have to put that placeholder in as well of a 0. 202 divided by 1,000. Well, again, in terms of our digits, we know we're going to have 2, 0, and 2, but this 2 has now moved 3 places to the right because we're dividing by a 1,000. And so the decimal point was here at the end of the number, 202, but those 3 digits have now all moved beyond the decimal point. And so we are at 0 0.202. And so we're going to end with multiplying and dividing by decimals where we are looking at 0 0.1, 0 0.01 and 0 0.001. Or, in other words, a tenth, a hundredth, and a thousandth. And all we need to think here is that basically um, 0 0.1, that is a tenth, and it says multiply by a tenth. Now, multiplying by a tenth is exactly the same as dividing by 10. If we divide by 0 0.01, that is one hundredth, uh, one hundredth, and so dividing by a hundredth is actually exactly the same as multiplying by 100 and 
uh, further down um, if we divide by 0 0.001 well that is one thousandth and that will be the same as multiplying by a thousand and so all you need to think when it comes to the decimals is that multiplication you can actually turn it into a, a divide and divide you can turn it into a multiply you just need to remember which numbers you are going to be working with so in the first case we had 8.9 and it was being multiplied by 0 0.1 so it's being multiplied by a tenth now because we're multiplying by something less than one it's going to get smaller and so when we do that it means all of our digits are actually going to move one place to the right and so my 8 is going to end up in the tenths, my 9 is going to end up in the hundredths. We need to add in our decimal point and we need our placeholder. And so this one will be 0 0.89. Uh, 22.6 um, is being divided by 0 0.01. So we're dividing by something less than 1. That means it's actually going to get bigger. And so we are actually just going to multiply by 100. The digits are all going to move two places to the left and so the first two the tens that is now going to be in the thousands that's two places two places for the two two places for the six and now we need a placeholder in our units that is going to be zero and so that one would be 2260 if we had 0 0.09 being multiplied by 0 0.1 well that's being multiplied by something less than 1 meaning it's going to get smaller this is just going to be like dividing by 10 and so all of my digits are going to move one place to the right and so my 0 is going to move to the tenths this 0 will move to the hundredths and this 9 into the thousandths I need to add my decimal point and my placeholder I get 0 0.009 7.3 well that has been divided by 0 0.001 again this is something less than uh, less than one so it's actually going to get bigger we're going to multiply by a thousand and so all of my digits are going to move three places to the left so the seven is now going to be in the thousands the three is now going to be in the hundreds and we're going to have to add place placeholders for the tens and the units we actually have seven thousand 300 and so for the last two can we do that without the diagram well times 0 0.01 that will be the same as dividing by 100 and so all of my digits are going to move two places to the right so instead of it being 500 it's actually going to be 5 and it'll be 5.06 2.03 2.03 divided by 0 0.001 well that is going to be the same as multiplying by a thousand so all of my digits need to move to the left three places so the two which was in the units is now in the thousands we have two thousand zero hundreds three tens but we also need zero units now we're going to end with the exam question and this came from an edxl paper in november 2015 and it's a slightly different version of what we've just been looking at it's thinking about the place value and what we've just been thinking in terms of how we've multiplied so it says use the fact that 5.4 times 36 equals 194.4 find the value of 5.4 times 3.6 so the key here is that all of the digits are still the same we've got 5.4 and uh, 36 and 5.4 and 3.6 so we've still got all of the same digits now the key is that the answer must therefore have something to do with the same digits 1944 but in this case the 5.4 is the same in both questions so that's absolutely fine what has happened though is the 36 has turned into 3.6 so how have we done that well that is like we have divided by 10 and therefore because one of the values in the question has divided by 10 the answer to the question will also divide by 10 so how do i divide 194.4 by 10 well all of the digits move one place to the right and so my decimal point would actually be here between the 9 and the 4. in the second part of the question 
again, we have very similar values. We've got 5.4 and then 54, and we have 36, and we have 360. Well, what has happened to turn 5.4 into 54? Well, that has been multiplied by 10. How have I turned 36 into 360? Well, that has also been multiplied by 10. And so the answer of 194.4, that has to be multiplied by 10 and multiplied by 10 again. And so if I multiply 194.4 by 10, all of the digits move one place to the left. I would actually have 1944. But then as I'm multiplying by 10 again, they're all going to move one place to the left again. 19440. And so my answer to the second question will be 19440.